Alright, what's up, Yens guys? Time for another video. Hope Yens guys had a uh, pretty fun and decent holiday and, and maybe ate a lot of your favorite uh, cakes, cookies, your ham, your turkey, or what have you. But anyway, this video I've been meaning to make, especially over the holidays where you've seen some really bad shit on the TV news that you really don't want to hear, say you were having a good time on Christmas or have a relatively decent Christmas. You don't want to see on the TV news people dying in fires, their Christmas trees, different things on fire, you know, uh, one. Anyway, this video is about, uh, I've been seeing too many things, I don't know about you guys, too many, too many stories every fucking day about uh, fires that could have been prevented on the TV news. It's okay. Um, one, I said it's very unfortunate. Uh, uh, a woman is a widow, except for her one kid, husband, and uh, all the rest of the kids died in a damn fire and even pets on Christmas Day. So this is what I'm going to want to tell you guys. Too many shit going on in the news. You're worried about all your political shit, racial shit. And by the way, this is a message for anybody, whether you're black or white or gay. I don't give a fuck who you are, even in people that don't even, you don't even fucking really like me for whatever reason. Um, and if you live in a building, you're look, you, um, different kind of places maybe uh, you're living. Fucking buy a fucking fire extinguisher. They're not that fucking expensive. I say this because I... Uh, too many, if, when you're hearing shit on the TV news and your local TV news about fires every fucking day, maybe it's time to actually uh, get one of these. And if you can, if you have an area, say if you have a little bit of money to waste something, a place that won't uh, attract any negative attention or anything or get yourself in trouble, somewhere where you can... I'm not saying at all, you know, any kind of, like, you don't even have to, uh, have any kind of mock fire or anything. Just point this at an object, maybe some money to waste to get one of these, maybe familiar yourself with it and point at an object, pretend there's a fire, don't do no, uh, shit that you're not allowed to burn any fires. And I'd also say to you, like, in talking in parentheses for... A few seconds too. Maybe some of you guys, landlords, uh, maybe rightly so, can forbid anybody from having candles or burning candles in your house. If you have fucking candles, whether it's for the holiday or whether you you're into these um, different candles with uh, different um, aromas, if you will, you you're into those things. Be fucking careful. Watch where you burn them. And say you cook, you've got a window or anything near, you know, in your kitchen. Would prefer uh, any of you people, wives or girlfriends, don't put no curtains on the dang window that's too close to a stove. Well, here is even uh, blinds that can melt or anything. Watch how you cook. Um, I don't really cook anything that would cause any grease fire at any particular degree, but... Yeah, be, be freaking careful. There are things that have happened, you know, uh, some heated to a high, too high of a temperature, you know, uh, uh, catch a fire. But then if you come this far in this video and you're listening this far in this video, I even looked at old, looked on YouTube for old archival funny videos. I remember the old videos with Dick Van Dyke about fire safety or whatever. Uh, there was a lot of them on. I wanted to see if they were still on YouTube when people put that in archives, but... There's a lot of, I think, uh, if you want to look at uh, fire safety uh, videos, there's a lot of uh, videos that I've seen that were focused on mostly, oh, if you've got a fire, get out, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But there's another thing, too. Say if you have a landlord or when you own a house or say if you live in a fucking building, right, where the whole fucking place can burn down, not any old kind of people can die, a whole come, a bunch of people can be homeless. Um... Uh, Things should emphasize not just about getting out and worrying about your life or whatever, save somebody else's life on the line. 
How many fucking fires on the t like TV news could have been prevented with one? There are some places I think that really that uh, landlords are required to have not just smoke detectors. Did everybody have one of these in the apartment? I know, you know if you want to check your local like regulations wherever you live. That there's a lot of rules really that I think landlords are required to have it in rental properties and say it don't get enforced unless anybody, you know, complains. But without anybody complaining, you really should, especially if you can't afford to lose all your shit in your place or whatever, everything you own. Um, actually, there's a building that I used to, to live in um, that uh, me and my partner talk about this, mostly me instigating the conversation. Okay, I lived in this uh, building in the past, and... Uh, there were a couple people, both black or white, and there's a couple black gentlemen, and I, we were talking about this uh, when we lived in this place. Uh, a building I used to live in. No fire extinguishers. Nobody is made to have fire extinguishers in these apartments and these buildings, right? But this particular building in every hall and every level actually had, still has to this day, hoses. This building was actually built okay way back in. I think 1953 or 63 or something, according to some plaque or something. But anyway, when the building was built, there was all these hoses on every level in every hall that you could turn on their big hoses. And I guess the hoses look like they're long enough to go in each apartment of the hall. And not to go on and on about this, I mean, if any of you guys were this far in this video, if you guys had anything similar in a building like this, with me and a particular black gentleman who was a friend of mine were talking about in this place that no fire ever happened. These hoses were never used once in years. They were at the end of every hall. We were talking about uh, what the water would be like if it would be all brown or all, you know, because inside them pipes with somebody's idea to put these in there. You know, that water was never turned on or anything, right? And if anybody ever had to use them. That water would be pretty disgusting looking if they had to spray the whole apartment with it. And then also another consideration when they first built that shit, right? What the fuck do you do if the fire is electrical in, in nature and came from an appliance and you sprayed or threw water? Get yourself or anybody else electrocuted, you know what I mean? So maybe that was a bad idea. But I would throw in the parentheses also too where... Okay, yeah, Donald Trump wasn't pres isn't president anymore. Uh, with, it's not an issue whether you like him or don't like him. I vaguely remember a story in one of his buildings or something. I guess there was a fire and there was there supposedly is no sprinkler system where it was built. I think it was built on some time where they, I think, I don't remember the whole story. If you guys want to look up, uh, they got around any regulation that buildings had to have sprinkler systems or something he don't have any cut corners which whether you like Trump or don't like Trump I regard was a bad idea they should have went ahead and spent the money because some rich guy whether you like him or not that builds a building right or if you and me were rich and wanted to build a building right why the fuck would you want to be that cheap and cut corners and say some fire happened and all that money you put into building a fucking building in the whole goes down just to cut and save a few bucks and let's not forget way in history before there was ever any um, regulations you remember that factory I've got to look it up a very I saw it on the history channel too uh, I don't want to get the, the city wrong I think it was New York it was like a big like a tower and people were working in it like a factory I don't want to get the city wrong I'd have to look it up myself you guys want to look it up um, there were no fire regulations. Everybody died. They couldn't get out of the building. There was, before sprinkler systems were made, I think it was on the History Channel. Uh, so any of you guys, both black or white, you live somewhere. Uh, I think it's uh, worth um, taking in consideration. Say you have older neighbors, both black or white. Um. Say you can get out, maybe they can't get out. I think an ounce of prevention is fucking worth it, right? Say your neighbors, whether you, you whether you even fucking like each other or not, uh, you yourself or a bunch of people need to be homeless. And 
course, there's a lot of fires too that happen inside of walls. If there's something wrong with your lights that don't seem right, there's fires that can happen inside walls that you don't know. Maybe you have some light that something ain't right about it or something that maybe older uh, houses or buildings that, you know, their wires are old, maybe have that shit checked. Don't be cheap about it. Uh, remember when I had, uh, this is uh, my grandmother's old house, my parents' house way back years ago when I used to live at home. I remember we were, me and my stepdad were doing drywall and everything, replacing a lot of that old ass plaster. There was some real old ass wiring inside of fucking walls that had to be redone. And if you don't ever have, ever have the money or think about redoing drywall in a room, until you actually decide, okay, we're going to tear this whole wall up and redo a room, right? Had you not been planning to do that, I mean, it could be creepy what you can't see inside of walls. Maybe the original wires inside of walls that weren't as good. That, that, ha that shit has happened. You know what I mean? So be fucking careful. Anyway, I went too far in the video, Rob. Uh, but I give you some possible ideas, but... If, before, if you haven't turned this video off yet, my idea before I went it on, if you can find a way to get one of these, even if your landlord doesn't pay for it or ain't required to pay for it, you got a little bit of extra cash on you, fucking buy one of these, you know, you hopefully you never have to really use it, but uh, if you see in like fires on every uh, day on the damn news, uh, different kind of duo. Oh yeah, before I even go too, don't forget. Well, that this was kind of off the subject, but that tower building in England. I don't know what would have prevented that. That's entirely different subject matter. About you can make a video on issues about that. I talk to people about uh, both black and white because we uh, different kinds of siding that looks nice, but. The slightest thing happens, it's go up in flames. That has happened. Remember that building in England, everybody died. That's sort of relates, but it's kind of relevant in a way that you can do entire videos on about uh, shit just because it's allowed to be manufactured and put on houses and buildings and how freaking uh, fire codes are sort of contradicted there. So you can make separate videos even on that, you know what I mean, as it is, that's, a, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's it for this video.